Howdy y'all, it's time for another Harvest and Taste. And today we will do, be doing a Harvest and Taste on the Tropical Sunset Tomato. So I don't know if y'all can see this very well, but this is the Tropical Sunset Tomato. So let me get to cutting and slicing and we'll get to tasting. Okay, y'all, we're back with the, uh, what was this? The Tropical Sunset Tomato. Let me give you a little view of the inside of the tomato. I just sliced this one, and let me show you again the outside of one. I don't know if you can see the blushing and the coloring on it, but they're uh, a nice-looking tomato. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the tomato. It's an indeterminate tomato. It's a bright, bicolored variety with the perfect balance of sweetness and acidity. Golden with orangey pink stripes, a cherry-sized heirloom fruits will stay ripe at the ripe stage for a longer time, providing a good shelf life. So, that's a little description. We're gonna take half of this and eat it without salt and pepper. And then, because I have to, the other half will have some salt and pepper added to it. So, while I'm doing this, down in the comments, let me know what tomatoes are your favorite varieties, any new ones you've grown this year, what you're looking most forward to trying, because I can tell you, even though I love the ones we have tried so far this year, I am still very looking mm -hmm. forward to trying the white queen tomato that's growing out there, the big rainbow tomato that's growing out there, and my single seed plant of 2024, the hillbilly tomato. So let's give the no salt and pepper part a try. Okay. I very much like that. Out of the new tomatoes this year, this one of all the new ones that we've grown this year and tried this year, I very much like that one the best. So now we'll try the part with salt and pepper. Yes, that is getting two thumbs up because that tropical sunset tomato, that one's a really, really awesome tomato. That comes in very close to last year's favorite tomato for me was the Super Sweet 100 because I would stand out there while watering in the garden and just eat them off the bush like crazy. These are very close to Super Sweet 100s. I very much enjoy them. So if you have not tried a Tropical Sunset, give one a try. I think you will really like it. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, comment down below. Let me know your favorite tomato varieties. Let me know if you've ever had Tropical Sunset set and what you think of it. Thanks as always for stopping by y'all and I'll talk at you on the next video. Bye.